What is going on, my beautiful people? What is going on? Happy to have you guys in here today, ready to take action. If you can see me and you can hear me, go ahead and drop the number one for me right now, all right? If you guys can see me and you can hear me, go ahead and drop the number one. And I'm super excited to go ahead and get into this. All right, I'm gonna pull up everything on my side so I can hear you guys and see you guys. This is gonna be very interactive, all right? This will be very interactive. I'll be reviewing your guys' stores live, answering some of your questions, and ensuring that by the end of this call today, you're gonna be fully confident knowing exactly what you need to be doing next. Now, if this is your first time ever on a live Q&A with me, go ahead and say first time in the chat section. If it's not, then say I've already been here before and I'm ready to go ahead and take action. Um, let me know uh, in the chat section, okay? Let me know. Let me know. I'm excited to go ahead and get going. Hey, what up? What up, Jonathan? Wesley. I got Iman in the house. Zakiria. Jet Life. All right. Like I said, if this is your first time ever in here with me, say it's your first time. If you've already been here before, say I've been in here before and I'm ready to keep taking action. Hamlet. First time. Amit. First time. Nanny. Okay. First time. Lori. All right, David's been here before. I already know that. I love to see it. I love to see it. Now, I'm showing you guys right now that this is live. It is 12.01 p.m. Central Time. It is Wednesday, April 12th, and I'm going to be reviewing your guys' stores live today as well as showing you guys different things that you should be doing, different apps you should have on your store, and exactly what you need to be doing to get the highest conversion rate, all right? If that sounds good with you guys, let me know in the chat section, all right? If that sounds good with you guys, drop the number one in the chat section. Let me know if you guys are good for that. All right. Now, like I said, we're going to go ahead and wait on a couple more people to go ahead and join. Um, until we do that, I do want to hear from everybody uh, in here about, you know, what you guys are the most excited for. All right. I do these live Q&As every single Wednesday. And if this is your first time in here, I'm going to tell you right now, it's not going to be your last because I don't try to do this. I actually do this. And I'm going to break down every single thing in verbatim, um, step by step, so that, again, you're confident with every decision that you're making. And like I said, today I'm going to be reviewing your guys' product pages so that you're able to maximize on the customers coming to your store to help you generate sales with your online business. Now today, it does not matter if you have experience and you've never built a store, or if you have experience and you're running ads and you're not getting tra uh, sales with the traffic that you're bringing in, we're going to be covering it all, all right? And like I said, in today's live, I'll be reviewing, uh, I'll be reviewing your guys' product pages so that you can maximize on the customers coming to your store, help you generate the sales that you're uh, looking for with your business so that you can actually start dropshipping and taking advantage of it out the gate. So for all of you guys who are ready to take action with me today, I want you to go ahead and drop your store URL. All right, I want you guys to go ahead and drop your store URL in the chat section so I can go ahead and che uh, check it out. Now, don't put .com at the end of it, okay? Do not put .com at the end of it because it, like, for some reason, I don't know if YouTube blocks it, but it just doesn't work, all right? But while we are waiting for a couple of people to go ahead and join in, like I said, um, I want to hear from everybody in here where you guys are tuning in from. I love to hear everybody and their different back and their different backgrounds. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this down below. I would love to hear, okay? Lisa said, I'm signing up for the one-on-one -on -one in a few days. I love to see it. I love to see it. If you guys do want to apply for my one-on-one -on -one mentorship, we do have four spots left this month. You guys can DM me the word coaching on my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton, or you guys can go ahead and uh, email me at uh, ac.hampton at supremeecom.com. And also, you know, I also have a website that you guys can check out for more information. I'll drop that down below. All right. If you guys are wondering, this is what the website looks like. Uh, for more information, if you guys want to check it out, uh, this is readily available for you guys. I'm going to drop it down below, all right? Like I said, you guys can see I'm going to be sharing my screen today, so I will be reviewing some of your guys' stores here in a second, all right? But let me know where everyone's tuning in from. I would love to, I would love to hear from it, all right? I got Pakistan in the house. I got Butel. I got uh, India in the house. I have uh, Ireland in the house. I have Europe, Illinois, Brooklyn. I have Netherlands in the house. All right, I love to hear it, I love to hear it. Now, you don't have to just keep dropping your store link over and over and over and over and again, okay? I'm gonna go down in chronological order. So like the more you guys keep spamming, okay? I'm Look, I'm just gonna go top down. So you don't have to keep putting your store uh, name multiple times in it, I'm gonna be hitting it, all right? Nigeria, we got India, we got United Kingdom, we got Sweden, all right? I love to see this. I love to see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop this down below again. Again, I wanna hear from everybody in here uh, where you're currently watching from. Now, I have one more question after this that I want you guys to go ahead and uh, do for me is rate your experience level. 
Okay, rate your experience level uh, level from being a complete beginner, intermediate, or advanced. So I have a better understanding of everybody's experience in here. All right. Cool. We got South Africa. We got Cleveland, Morocco. All right. I think we have a good enough uh, amount of people in here. So like I said, let's go ahead and get started. I know a lot of you guys just got in here. So to reiterate, I do these live Q and A's every single Wednesday, going over specific topics every single week that I, that you guys may be needing the most support in. The value does not stop there, but I'll also be giving out a giveaway today at the very end of this. So if you're going to stay to the very end today, drop the number one. If you're not, drop the number two. But if you do stay to the very end, I'm going to be giving out a giveaway to everyone in here. And this giveaway is to give you a free one-on-one -on -one consulting call to get all of your questions answered, streamline your success, and get an inside look at what my one-on-one -on -one mentorship looks like. I'm also going to give you a 2023 success plan that's tailored around you and your experience. Free Supreme Ecom merch. So I don't know if y'all see it, all right? But we got new Supreme Ecom merch out here, all right? Y'all see what we do, man. This is the new Supreme Ecom merch that we have, so I'm gonna be giving out some of that as well, um, and maybe even giving out one of my stores. Um, so definitely take advantage of that, okay? And like I said, speaking of one-on-one -on -one, uh, calls, I do have very limited spots available in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship where we hop on one-on-one -on -one calls with you, share your screens, help guide you to get the results that you're looking for, and help you make an extra five to $10,000 a month while doing so. If you guys wanna apply for those limited spots, here's how you guys can take advantage of it, all right? Let's go ahead and keep moving. Let's go ahead and keep moving. So let's go ahead and get into the first store of the day, okay? Let's go ahead and get into the first store today. But before we get into reviewing your stores, all right, I do want to talk about some key things that you should have on your online business. Okay, I'm going to move myself up real quick. So I do want you guys to take a couple of quick notes for me real quick, and then we're going to go ahead and jump into this. All right, let me go ahead and see if this covers that. Um, so like I said, let's go ahead and do this real quick. And I want to give you guys a clear understanding and you guys can drop questions as well. Uh, you guys are saying like, what are some of the best themes for general stores? I'll get into that in a little bit as well. But first thing I want to go ahead and do is give you guys an understanding of how you're going to have success with your online business. So when you're first starting off, okay, what type of store should you start? I recommend starting off with a general store, okay? Write this stuff down. I want you guys to take advantage of this. Uh, smooth JR saying, how do I send my store link in here? Like I said, you'll literally just be able to drop your link down below. Don't put the dot com at the end of it, all right? You see how the miracle is saying like Rilo and then like that's my store. You guys can put that in there. Star, there are different packages I have uh, readily available in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship that's tailored around you. So that's why I uh, ha uh, have you reach out with a couple questions to see if you're gonna fit. Now you guys will be seeing somebody in here. His name is Kevin Hong. Kevin Hong, he's actually a part of my team here at Supreme Ecom. So if you have any questions about my mentorship or about my services or ways that we can help you, he will answer those directly for you guys in the chat while I wanna make sure I can provide you guys the value, all right? So what type of store do I recommend starting off with right away? Like I said, I recommend starting off with a general store. The reason why I suggest starting off with a general store is because I want to test more efficiently and be able to build different product pages very quickly. So you guys have to understand, there's going to be different seasons and trends that you need to be focusing on every single year, every single month. Now with that, you can either option A, build a bunch of different stores around a bunch of different products and spend more effort and time into building the store rather than to actually be selling the product. Or you can just do a general store and only have to focus on just changing it around the seasons and holidays and really just around um, and just building out product pages. So for example, right, let me go ahead and build up, let me show you guys this store, right? I was running this store just a little bit ago. Um, it's not currently being ran right now, but you can see when I was running it basically last month, you can see that I was highlighting the seasons and trends. Like my whole store was around the season and trend, right? Spring, spring fever, showing spring images, showing spring products, showing spring fever, right? This is a general store, okay? But it's around the seasons and trends that are currently happening, all right? So I want you guys to see and understand that's how I'm taking the approach with it. And by the way, like, this is what's allowing me to generate around $305,000 in about a month and a half with this store. Um, and all while doing so, generating right around, you can see that, um, right around a 4% conversion rate, all right? So I'm gonna get into this here in a little bit, but like I said, the type of store that I recommend starting off with is a general store, all right? 
Now, if you guys do want to get started with a general store, if you guys drop the number one, if you've never built out a Shopify store before, drop the number two, if you have, okay, drop the number one, if you have built out a, a store before, uh, drop the number two, if you guys have not, let me know real quick in the uh, chat section. Because before we even get started, if you guys are wanting to get the opportunity of building out a store, I have something amazing for you guys, okay? This is a great opportunity for you guys. So now that I have generated over $10 million with uh, Shopify over the last uh, couple of years, I've now been able to partner with Shopify and allow you guys to get started with your first three months, only costing you a single dollar, okay? I don't know any of your guys' favorite gurus who's on Shopify's homepage. Okay, let me move myself over. That's actually on Shopify's homepage, but I don't try to do this, okay? I actually do this. So if you are wanting to get started with Shopify, here's a great, uh, here's a great link for you guys. Uh, first three months only costing you one single dollar and a free trial, like I said, all right? But like I said, that's the first way that I'm gonna go ahead and start this. Now, the next thing you guys have to understand is that your store needs to be neat and professional with clear images and gifts and not a cut not a ton of text or only images i want to be clear about this all right i see a lot of you guys try to spam your store and put all this different stuff on there when i want you guys to go ahead and write this down right now and qmar and everyone in here like i said i'm gonna be reviewing your guys' stores here in a couple minutes but i never want you guys to ever focus on just me reviewing your stores but going from this live q a and taking the knowledge for you to be successful, okay? And if you're with me and you wanna focus on knowledge is power, then go ahead and say knowledge is power for me in the chat section, all right? And like I said, guys, I will be reviewing your guys' stories here in a second, but I want you guys to have a solid foundation real quick. And that is neat and professional and simple will always win. So with my store, Okay, I don't have a bunch of pop-ups. I don't have a bunch of colors. I don't have a bunch of random countdown timers. I focus on simple does more. Okay, I'll give you guys one more quick example. Let's just take this product right here, for example. Throughout this store, you're not seeing a bunch of colors. You're not seeing black, red, green, purple, blue. You're seeing three colors max. You're seeing black, white, and one separate color. All right, so you wanna make sure that you're having three colors on your store so that you're not distracting customers from what they're there for or making them feel like it's a scam. You wanna make sure that you're highlighting three colors, white, black, and one accent color. Okay, so write that down, three colors max on my store. And by the way, okay, Brian and Lisa and Imad and Bradra and Kinochi and Jet Life and Luis, Okay, I'm doing this because I truthfully, I truthfully care about your guys' success and I want you to take something away from this and knowing exactly what steps that you need to be taking by the end of this Q&A so that you guys can be able to get the success that you deserve. Now, I wanna be clear, the industry conversion rate for an e-commerce store, dropshipping store on Shopify is 2%. Okay, I double that. I double that, okay? I'm doubling that. So I want you guys to be, be focusing on what I'm saying. Now, there's also three main metrics that I want you guys to be focusing on as well. And that's these metrics right here. Now, yes, I do like to look for anywhere between a two to 4% conversion rate, okay? But write this down, okay? So add to cart, I wanna see this anywhere between six and 8%. Anytime I see this type of metrics, I'm gonna be seeing, base, when I'm running my ads, I know I'm gonna be sitting at at least a 2% conversion rate, all right? By the way, I have two team members in here. One is named Fabian, okay, Fabian, and one is named Kevin Hong. Okay, those are both my two, uh, two team members. So if you guys are getting messages back from them on here, um, you guys have questions, they'll be making sure that they can give you guys some uh, extra support. But look, okay, six to 8% is what you wanna be seeing right here if you wanna be ending with at least a 2% conversion rate. The second is you wanna be seeing at least a four to 6% with reach checkout. So okay, checkout's initiated. You wanna see this between four and 6%. And then lastly, you wanna be seeing your sessions converted anywhere between two and 4%. Okay, so sessions converted, two to 4%. Oh shit, two to 4%. Okay, two to 4%. So this is what you guys wanna be taking advantage of when you're looking at this. Now, when you're building out your store, 
Okay, I want you guys to write this down as well because this is also very important and I'm going to be looking at your guys' product pages. So when you drop your store links here in a quick second, okay, I see some of you guys are dropping your store links. I'm gonna bring them up in here in a quick second. When you drop your store links, the first thing I'm going to do is look at your product page, okay? So for one, the main product that you should be selling should be on your homepage, Okay, if this is your main product that you're selling, you wanna make sure it's on your homepage, that's gonna be the main one that I'm gonna be checking out. And Michael, yes, I'm gonna check your store out. Hajar and Harrison and uh, Wasabi, all you guys in here, I will be checking your stores out here in a quick second. But I want you to write this down. Ninety-five percent of the success that you're going to have is going to come from to the product page of the product that you're selling. So in simpler terms, your homepage can look amazing. You could have the coolest pictures on there, but every one of the pieces of traffic that you're going to be driving, say you're running an ad for this sand beach mat, they're going to see the ad for your sand beach mat, and then they're going to go directly to the product page of that product. They're not going to your homepage. So that means that 95% of your success is going to come from your product page. Now, if that makes sense, go ahead and drop the number one for me right now. And by the way, guys, if you're enjoying the, uh, what I'm giving or you're enjoying the content that I'm giving out, guys, I want you guys to go ahead and smash that like button afterwards. Uh, smash that like button right now, I mean, because afterwards, if this video does reach 200 likes, I'm going to post this on my channel. So even if you don't catch on what I'm saying the first time, you guys can come back and watch it again. All right. Now, the last thing that you need to make sure that you have is good, high converting apps on your store. You have to have apps, okay? Let me write this down, okay? You have to have apps on your store, okay? Even if you have a nice looking product page, it's not gonna convert as well if you're just focused on the, if you're not focused on the customer journey. So what type of apps should you start off with? Well, if you're on a low budget, every single one that has a free trial okay and allows you to keep your expenses low low not laugh out loud so what type of ones do i recommend it's actually very very easy okay one of them let's go to the shopify app store okay let's go to the shopify app store i'm gonna bring up a couple of these to you guys okay one of the most important ones, which might seem a little bit expensive, but if you've been drop shipping, you know how this is a great bang for your buck, is Vitals. Vitals is going to be great for you. Now, why is this the case? It's because this is an all-in-one marketing tool. Now, a lot of you guys might go out there and download, you guys might download Sticky Add to Cart. This is a great app that you need on your store. You guys might download Best Currency Converter. This is also a new, a, a, another great app on your store. You might do um, alley reviews. You might do discount quantity break. You might do frequently bought together, okay? You might do tractor. But all of these tools, damn, you guys actually did not see anything I just typed out. <laughs> you guys might do tractor, okay? You might do frequently bought together, okay? This might be another app that you might download. You might download this app, okay? You might download this app, and so on and so forth, but all of these apps can be found in this single app right here. So when Vitals is installed, you can see every single app. They have 40 plus apps, from reviews, to upsells, to bundles, to replays, to pop-ups, to 40 plus and more. Okay, you guys can see that this is the main package that you need is $29.99 and it's really great. And when you have it installed, okay, this is a little bit of what it's going to look like. So when you have it installed, you can see that the app is going to give you guys product reviews. This is one that I turn on, right? You see that I have product bundles already installed. You see I have volume discounts installed. You see that I have... Um, a lot of different apps on there, related products. I have that installed. I have the sticky add to cart. I have this installed. It's literally all in one spot. So you could go out there and spend a bunch of money on a bunch of different apps, or you could have it all in one spot. So this is definitely something that I recommend right out the gate. Um, it will be very, very, very beneficial for you. All right. This is going to be one of the main apps that you need. Uh, Tractor will be great as well. Okay. That's gonna be great for you. Um, and then Sweet Upsell, okay? Sweet Upsell is not something you can find in the uh, App Store, 
Um, this is something you will have to find online, and it's going to be this one right here, allowing you to do some post upselling. So if that's cool with you guys, okay, I want to go ahead and cover some of the things. Uh, now that we have covered some of the things that we focused on while creating a strong product page, um, let's let's get into actually dropping your guys' store URLs. And if this helped out a little bit, go ahead and say uh, this helped out in the chat section. But I did forget to mention one quick little thing for me, a uh, quick little thing, is this is how you guys want your product pages to be laid out. I forgot to say it real quick. Okay, the number one way to sell any product is highlighting a problem and giving a solution. This is what I do with every single one of my product pages. And then another big key point, which I'm gonna show you guys both live what it looks like, okay? No one in their mind wants to read a novel. And I'll explain this in a second. But you have two types of buyers, okay? One is a visual buyer, and one is a reading buyer. Now, what is the difference between these type of people? Well, you need to appeal to both. When somebody comes to your product page, you might have people that just want to read what this product can do for them. So they'll read this feature and benefit. Maybe they'll read this feature and benefit. Maybe they'll read this feature and benefit. But there's other people who don't care to read at all, and they want to visually see how this product can solve a problem for them. So that's why I show GIFs and images after every feature and point. Uh, feature and benefit that's why i'm doing this and showing the product actually being used this is why two types of different people okay you have a reading person and you have a visual person but still at the same time you need to focus on solving a problem so why would someone buy my product probably because they don't they have this problem what is the solution here's the solution how does it work it shows it right here so if that makes sense for me I want you guys to go ahead and drop the number one, and I'm gonna go ahead and review some of your guys' stores. All right, now like I said, I'm starting at the top. Okay, I'm starting at the top, so let me go ahead and see what type of stores we currently have. We're gonna start, uh, let's go ahead and do, we're gonna start off right here. My boy, find your freelancer, just Glam Beauty. All right, we're gonna review his store live together, give you guys some pointers that you guys can focus on. All right? So, quick little things that you guys should know right away is they have the season of trend that's happening, but I would say something right away is I would change this bar. It does not make sense to be highlighting a season that is already at the very end of it. All right? That is already at the very end of it. So, what does this mean? I need you guys to come over here, go to Google Trends, okay? Type in the season of trend that you're trying to focus on, okay? Let's go ahead and do spring. Find out when the season starts and when the season ends. Now, as you can see, if I come by the last five years, I can see that the season starts, all right, right on basically the first week of J January, and I can see that it ends, okay, right around the second week of March. So if you know that this season is now on a downward trend, look, you see how it's on a downward trend right now? This is not something that I should be focusing on, okay? I have a lot of, uh, for people who are asking about suppliers, okay? I do have videos on my channel to give you guys uh, some of the suppliers that you guys should be using. This is a really good video for you, okay? This is also another really good video for you right here. And I'll also give out my private supplier to everybody in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship to give you four to 12 day shipping on any product that you wanna sell without having to buy a single product up front. But just to reiterate what I'm saying, okay, what I would have made probably focused on if I was you was this. You see how Mother's Day right now is starting basically this week. What is today? The 12th of, of April? Well, literally this trend started yesterday. So for me, okay, I'm now going to make that one of my main focuses on my store. Now, does that make sense for you guys? One for yes, two for no. You want to make sure you're highlighting seasons and trends that make sense that are currently happening. How many of you guys have ever went to a store before? And maybe it's like March and you go to it and it says Christmas sale ending soon. Like, what do you mean Christmas sale ending soon? I'm not even going to trust you as somebody who's advertising um, if you're going to put yourself in a position to not even advertise the right seasons and holidays. Okay, let me know right now. 
Pablo said that helped out. All right, Pablo, I'm, I'm glad about that. Iman, Murphy, Wesley, does all, all of that make sense? Okay, does all of that make sense? All right, cool, it does. So let's keep moving, all right? Now, like I said, on my store, I'm only focusing on three colors max, black, white, and one separate color. As you can see, this has a dark purple, white, it has another purple, it has pink, it has this random purple color, it has white and black. It's just doing a little bit too much, I'm not gonna lie, and I would simplify this process down. But I'm gonna go ahead and go to their store, Okay, go to their actual um, go to their actual product page and give you guys some ideas on some things that I would change. All right, let me go ahead and move myself over so you guys can see everything that's going on. All right, first thing I like is that they have a custom currency converter. You see this down below. This is very, very, very great. Okay, Kendrick's is saying, "Man, I'm late." Well, Kendrick's, guess what? It is never too late. Okay, you're in here now. Drop your store link. I'm gonna be reviewing your guys' stores link or your stores. And if you smash that like button down below and get this video to 200 likes, I will post this on my channel after this. Okay. Couple things I don't recommend you doing. I don't recommend having two bars. Okay, you see how there's like two different bars up here, two different headers up here. I don't recommend having two different headers. It's just taking up too much space on your product page. And we're donating one dollar for every sale. I mean, it's pretty to say that, but honestly, uh, it's just not really getting you guys anywhere. And by the way, don't put the dot com at the end of your product page if you are dropping it because it literally. Uh, I don't know why YouTube doesn't allow me to do it, but I can't see your guys' stores links. Okay. So what I recommend right away, change the season, okay? Change, uh, change the season and change having two banners. Not necessary, not necessary at all. Your logo, I cannot see your logo at all. So I do recommend making your logo a little bit bigger so you guys are in a position where people can actually recognize your brand and want to buy from you. All right, one thing I do like um, is that they have the name of their product, but I do typically like to have a name of my actual product I'm selling. And to make, break that down, an example is I could sell a sand free beach mat, but I could also customize myself and say Mr. Beach sand free beach mat. You see how this allows me to stand out from my competitors, allow me to get some type of competitive advantage, allowing people to see that this is my product and not somebody else's. Okay, does that make sense? Yes or no in the chat section for me. Kaya, KCI, Relaxing Vibes, Lakia, okay, Wesley, Colleen. Does that make sense? Yes or no in the chat section. Some things I like about your product page, okay, is that you have a good selling price and then you have a compare price showing that you have a great deal. Um, I would probably put something of a, more of a problem solver. Speak to the audience. Tell a story with your product description. Yes, this product is your... your Basically, what you're doing is you're just giving me features and benefits. And yes, it's great to get features and benefits, but your first point that you should have at the top of your page is solving a problem. So what I would say instead is, are you tired of being constantly on the go and not being able to do your makeup? Well, no worries. This product is going to solve this problem in a couple seconds and then show a different image of showing it right under that of how to do that. Okay, Chantel, I see you saying it makes sense. Okay. Lisa, all right, Deshaun, Adeline, drop some questions down below if you guys have any questions of me reviewing this store too. I'll answer them for you guys, okay? But this is a good example. Feature, benefit, solution, show the product being used. I like that, okay? Um, reviews definitely need some work, all right? Reviews definitely need some work, okay? Let's go ahead and uh, go to another one. Let's go to another one. Let's see, let's see, what other thing, Rilo, let's do Rilo, let's check this thing out real quick. Like I said guys, if you're going to stay to the end today to give yourself the opportunity of winning a giveaway, drop the number one if you're gonna stay to the end. If you got somewhere to be and you don't wanna win the giveaway, drop the number two, but I will say, okay, after this, if this video does reach 200 likes, I'm gonna give a second giveaway. And that giveaway winner is gonna come out this Friday on my YouTube channel. So I hope you guys take advantage of it, all right? So Rilo, right? This is Rilo's store. I'm gonna go ahead and check out a product page and see what we're working with. So right away on my store, I do recommend having some separate color. Black and white's good, but I would recommend having three colors max. Like I, uh, one thing I really like is that the uh, is to highlight the image. Um, you gotta have some type of white images, okay? You guys have to have some type of white images. Let me give you guys an example. 
Actually, I think I actually have that eye, uh, that magnetic eyelash thing. Yeah, yeah. Y'all see what I be doing? Hey, this is my store right here. Uh, let me see if I can bring back that last store that I just saw. Give you guys a quick little example of the difference between them two. Uh, no, that wasn't it. What was that last store that I just saw? It was this one right here. All right, look at the difference. I want you all to check out the difference. Where's mine at? Oh. You guys see I stay on top of products, y'all. I stay on top of products. Okay, you see how I named my product? And this is kind of like the difference. This is what I mean. I'm showing you guys live that I do this. I do this. Okay, look. So this is the big difference. Okay. Now, this product page is actually not that good. I didn't finalize it. Um, it's not actually finished at all. But I want you guys to see this big difference. All right of just this top part right here. This product page was never finalized, so don't even try. Don't even try, because you know when I try, okay, when I do do try for real, where's that thing at? This is what it looks like, but this is an old store anyways, okay? This isn't something I'm currently running today. I turned off this store uh, in March. Well, actually last month. Yes, I wrote this myself, okay? I wrote this myself. If you guys wanna know what I could do, watch this. If you guys never know what to name my product, look, let's do, uh, can you give me a, let me move myself. This is ChatGPT. You guys have questions? Look, watch. Can you give me a name that for a product that I want to sell? The product is a magnetic eyelash. What is this thing called? A magnetic, eyel my, uh, magnetic eyelashes. Let's see what it gives me. Magna Lash, Glam Mag, Magnetic Lash, Magno Lash, Magna Chick, Lash Magnet X. Can you make it cooler? Right? Can you make it cooler? Right? Here's some Flux Lash, Magno Glow, Magnus Gaze, Hyper Lash, right? You guys can use your guys' resources and it can make things for you guys like this all the time. All the time. But let's get back into the store that we were looking at. Let me clear this out. Okay? So like I said, I would name the product. So a quick little point that I like doing is I like um, having the end of my product, uh, the end of my selling price of my product in with a 0.97 or a 0.99. I don't typically like doing like 22, 24, 7, like 75, okay? I wouldn't really do anything like 75, uh, but I do like this section right here, okay? I'll show you guys one of my brands that I've ran for a little while. I've been running this brand for a couple, uh, a couple years. And you see how I have like, you see how I have like this little spot, uh, small spot right here of like giving a quick little description of the product. I do like it. Okay. I do like that. So you see how like this is giving a description of the product before you actually see it. I do like how you're kind of doing that right here. Now this brand right here, if you guys want to know what I do with drop shipping, you guys want to really see, let me show y'all. Cause I don't try to do this. I actually do this. Every product. Okay. Every product that I bring, every product that I drop ship, guess what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to create a brand around it. When do I create a brand around it? And I've already drop shipped it on my drop shipping general store to over 100K. Guess what I do? I then create a one product or niche focused brand just like this store right here. And guess what? I buy all the inventory and I white label everything. Would y'all look at it? Look. Okay. That's what I do. This is the purpose of what I'm trying to get you guys to understand is I'm not just teaching you guys drop shipping, but I'm teaching you guys how to run successful e-commerce brands. All right. This store alone brings me in around three hundred thousand dollars a month, literally from just selling DC cushions. And I have upsells as well. You guys can see I have upsells. I have all my uh, I can show you guys. I have like a whole room in my office of literally like just all seat cushions and back cushions. So I have like my back cushions as well. Um, this back cushion right here. Um, this is the what. This is what I do, y'all. This is what I do. But like I said, I start off with a general store first. All right. Let me throw that thing back over. I have a black one too. Look, this is a big. I have extra. I have all types of different versions. Right. Here's a black one too. This is the extra large version. You know, this is the extra large version. Throw that thing over there. But this is what I'm trying to get you guys to to put in that work, man. Put in that work. Everyone at the office is using them, literally. Um, let's keep moving, right? So one thing I like seeing on my store is something considered a quantity break by discount. This is very important to have on your store so that you're upselling, right? That, so you're constantly upselling. 
So you guys want to be constantly upselling to find yourself in a position to increase your average order value. So for example, right, let me go ahead and show you guys something real quick. Um, I don't know if it's on this store. I might have took it off this one. Yeah, I actually did take it off last week. Is the quantity break by discount is going to be big. So this app right here, this is a big app that you guys can take advantage of, okay? But you guys can also download the same app on uh, Vitals, okay? You know where it says buy two, get 10% off, buy three, get 15% off, buy four, get 20% off. I'll show you guys one of mine. Let, let me just show you guys what it looks like live. This is one of my other brands that I've been running. Let's just look at it real quick. See this right here? This is what I mean, okay? This is what I mean, all right? So definitely would recommend having quantity break by it. These colors of these back background images do not go with it uh, either. You see how this is like pink and this is gray and then this is black and white. You want the background images of your product description to also match the colors of your store. You may also like, man, this is a big thing for me. I need you guys to understand what, uh, this is something you guys need to understand, okay? Cross-selling, cross-related items. You should always be focusing on upselling, okay? Items that make sense to go together. And by the way, yes, everybody for the one-on-one -on -one mentorship, there is only four spots, okay? Michael, yes, there's only four spots. You guys can DM me the word coaching, or like I said, you guys can apply right here at supremecom.com, all right? Let's take a quick little break for a second. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the giveaway instructions. I'm gonna go ahead and announce the winner in about 20 minutes. Okay, here is the giveaway instructions. By the way, let me highlight the student of the week, my boy Henry Allen. My boy Henry Allen, Allen one month in. I forgot to highlight him. He did just now join. He ended up generating, 20, let me move myself. He ended up generating $22,000 in his first month and a half inside my one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Congratulations to my boy Henry. Henry, congratulations. You see what a team of uh, people who are looking to succeed together looks like? He said, yo, AC, one month check in, right? And look at our team constantly showing him love, man. Let's go. Congratulations. Push him in the right direction. Doesn't matter if you have no experience. My boy was doing Uber Eats. My boy was doing Uber Eats before this. And in his first month and a half, generated $22,000 in sales. Everybody say congratulations to my boy, Henry. Okay, if he can do it, you guys can do it too. Let's go ahead and get into the giveaway real quick. Um, and what I'm going to give you guys, all right? So giveaway winner, right? This is how you guys can get the giveaway this week, okay? All you have to do, if you wanna win this giveaway, which is gonna give you a free one-on-one -on -one consulting call to get an inside look at my one-on-one -on -one mentorship, get some help on your call, uh, some of your questions that you have, share your screen and more, you guys will be able to take advantage of this and get a 2023 success plan tailored around you and some new Supreme Ecom merch. Y'all see we got the new Supreme Ecom merch out, all right? All you have to do is go to my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton. You guys have to follow me. Come down to this video right here, okay? Like it, comment the word live, and come back in here and say the word done. Now, I'm constantly giving you guys lots of tips and strategies on here as well. So uh, how I'll be choosing the winner is going to be wherever my finger stops. So I'll be giving out this giveaway winner here in a little bit, probably about 20 minutes. Uh, but that's where you guys can take advantage of it. Like I said, you have to follow me. Come down to this video, like it, comment the word live, and come back in here and say the word done. All right, quantity break by discount will be great, but now let's get back on what I was talking about, which is cross-selling cross-related items. Do you understand, okay, let's just, do you understand how, just let's say for this product right here, how and why I am upselling this product that goes with it? I have a seat cushion, but I have a back cushion, which pairs together. If I'm gonna sell, let's say, a dog collar, I'm gonna upsell with a dog leash and a dog harness. If I'm gonna sell a sand beach mat, I'm gonna have a portable flute, uh, fruit blender with it. I'm upselling cross-related items, okay? These items do not go together at all. This electronic cleaner kit and you upselling random dog products and this random kitchen product, this does not go together and it's going to throw me off. Yes, I have a general store, but you would never know that I have a general store because I still highlight everything around each other. Like, look, look at where it says spring fever. Look, all these products right here would go together. Every single one of these products would go together and I could upsell them all. So I have a general store, but it's focused around a single niche every single time. 
So I would recommend that, and then your reviews really aren't that decent either. Um, these reviews are okay, um, but definitely not, not that decent. I'm not going to lie. Uh, you guys can do a lot better with that. Okay? Let me, let me just pull up this one real quick. Let me see. I was just revamping the reviews, so I might not even have reviews on it right now. Yeah. I'll show you guys one of my other brands, what it should look like. Let me show you all one of these things. Show you what good reviews look like. If you're going to sell a product, okay, this is what it should look like. When you come down to the reviews, okay, this is what it should look like. Showing the product being used. Paragraphs and features and benefits on why someone should buy the product and more. All right, that's just one example, but that's how you guys can take advantage of it. Let's get into another store. Let me plug in my, let me plug in my charger. Let me plug in my charger. Also, for everybody in here who might be on a budget, okay, but still looking to get support, I do have my Supreme University. If you guys ever want to take advantage of it, allowing you guys to get support and guidance for only sixty dollars a month, okay. You guys can see more information here. If you guys are in the Supreme University right now, go ahead and say you're in the university and your feedback. If you guys are already in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship right now, say you're in the one-on-one -on -one mentorship and your feedback as well so other people in here can hear from you guys. But yeah, this is a great way for you guys to be able to get on calls with me directly every week. Uh, it's going to be on Zoom to allow yourself to share your screen and more, getting 24-7 coaching and more. If you guys are on a budget, like I said, this university is going to be an amazing fit for you. But if you are looking to be grabbed by the hand and get more one-on-one -on -one guidance and actually make an extra five to $10,000 a month while doing so, here's your opportunity for that as well. Let's get into another store, man. Let's get into another store. We're going to go ahead and do this one right here. Let's go ahead and do eLooks. eLooks.com. All right, eLooks.com. Okay, I don't like this. I do not like this showing up right away. It should already, and this popping up right away before I can even scroll. You guys got to simplify them pop-ups, y'all. You got to simplify them pop-ups. This is not going to, you want to make sure that just get rid of this shit. Like, you can show, you can have it show up if it's, like, going to show up if someone's trying to abandon the cart. But if I'm going to try to come to your store and I get two pop-ups right away, I'm going to probably leave. Okay. Gladys say, on one-on-one, -on -one, I loved it, learned a lot today. Gladys, thank you so much for that feedback. I appreciate that. Lori said, I'm in the university, very informative. I appreciate that, Lori. Uh, thank you so much for that. Pop-ups, got to go. Gots to go. Okay, I'm trying to get into your store. I still can't get to your store. Let's get into it, though. Let's see your product page. All righty. Um, so starting off, uh, I probably, I don't know if your whole store is trying to be around this IPL hair remover. If it is, okay, here's the eyelash curler as well. Let's check out this eyelash curler. Let's see what we can do with this. Let's see what we can work with with this. I like this, but I will be like, if you are going to do the IPL hair remover and you're going to do this product, one little quick little tip I can give you is I would probably change the color of this. Um, both of your products are light pink, light pink, not dark pink. Okay, so you see how this is like a light pink background. You see how this is like a light pink product. I would probably make that being my main color on my store. Okay, Tony and I'm in the university. Very, really helpful. Thank you very much for the information. I, help, I, I love you. I love you too. Thank you guys for the feedback. All right, let's go ahead and check out what we can do. Let's stick with this one, right? I love how you named the product. I love how you, I would do 99, 59.99 or 59.98 uh, or 97 would go great for you. Black, pink, and white, okay? It shows me the product. I do like that. Um, I think I sold this product before. Let me see. Let me see real quick. Hair remover. Um, I will say, yeah, this is one of my old product pages I had. I sold this product to uh, right around two hundred thousand dollars. It's actually a really good product. I would tell you if I had to give you a suggestion, up your selling price. Okay, I sold this thing for a hundred dollars. So I ain't even gonna lie to you. I really did. But I do want to highlight one quick thing: is every product that you see, every time I click on a variant, okay, it goes to a white background. Every time I click on a variant, it goes to a white background. If you're gonna have variants on your store, I do recommend having a white background on it. Okay. Um, main thing you need to do is focus on the font of your store, okay? See how it's like big font in my product description, solution, gift for image. You want you want to different you want have you want to have different font sizes, right? 
this is all like paragraph text. There's no, there's nothing really sticking out to me too much, right? So I would recommend you guys have um, bigger font on your store. Um, and the main things you're trying to highlight, like your features and benefits, or the problem that you're trying to solve, it shows it um, with the bit different fonts that you guys have. And I want to say I don't recommend having any colors on your store at all. Uh, or sorry, in your product description. No colors in your product description. Uh, keep everything black and white. Okay, does this make sense? Can you guys drop the number one for yes or drop the number two for no? By the way, let me see how many likes we're at right now. I, I told you guys if you guys are wanting to watch this afterwards, I would recommend to go ahead and get this video uh, to 200 likes. We are at 129 likes. You guys have 15 minutes lot left. There's a two. There's 236 people in here. If you want to watch this, pro, if you want to watch this video after this, take advantage of the things that I'm saying and maybe get the chance of winning another giveaway. Smash that like button down below. Let's get this video to 200 likes. All right. Let's keep moving. What other stores can we take? Oh, let me see if there's anything. FDA cleared. Do not put this in your chat section. If you are not having a product that's FDA cleared, you will get banned for that. Do not try to claim things that you do not have actually claimed. Frequently bought together is not on here. I don't see any quantity discount on here. I don't see any custom currency converter in here. I don't see any sticky add to cart on here. Um, definitely apps that you guys need. All right. Like I said, if you guys like, let's just check out, check out one of my products. Let's do uh, let's do this. Let's let's do another product. I'm gonna show you guys a different product that I have. Let's do this thing for example, right? You see that when I scroll past the product, you see how when I scroll past it, I have this add to cart button show up. All right, you want a sticky add to cart to be on your store. You definitely want a sticky add to cart to be on your store. All right, let's go to another store real quick. Does that make sense? Do you guys have any type of things that will help, or is this making sense to you guys right now? Yes or no? Let me know in the chat section, yes or no. And if you have not highlighted or said what's up to my boy Henry yet, make sure to say congratulations, Henry, bro. He just joined like 10 minutes ago. My boy got a 3% conversion rate, showing you guys that you can get 2% conversion rates or higher. And first month and a half, 22,000. Congratulations, my boy. I highlight different students of the week every single week. So if that makes sense, please go ahead and provide me some feedback down below. Let me clear all this stuff up. Let me clear all this stuff out. Okay. Jet Life, it makes sense. Umar, it makes sense. Fabian, what's good? All right. Let's pick another store. Let's pick another store. Let's do this one real quick. All right. Like I said, just drop your store names if you guys are wanting me to review them, and I'll be going through each one of them in depth. If you guys have any questions, drop them down below, okay? AC, what do you suggest to make sure the review section looks like uh, the part? Uh, I showed you guys one of my uh, review sections I have on one of my product, but you want to have legitimate reviews, okay? You want to make sure that they show up like this. Like if I'm going to come over here to Amazon and I'm going to type in, let's say, uh, I don't even know, let's say a uh, garden auger, right? This is a product that you guys can be selling right now. Okay, I want my reviews to look like, where is it at? Like this. Like I want a picture on it. I want a feature and benefit. Like I want to see a picture. I want to see how it's actually been used for people. I want I want all of the good the good stuff that people can actually take away from it. Okay, nobody wants to sit here and read something. Okay, obviously not the one star reviews, but nobody's trying to buy a product if they cannot relate to the product. I don't need a hey this is great or great shipping. No, the same features and benefits that you guys put inside your product description should be the same features and benefits that are being highlighted in your guys' reviews. Does that make sense? One for yes, two for no. All right, showing the product actually being used in live time. Like this is a good one right here, right? Like I had to do all of this. This helped me out with this. It saved me so much time and energy. Okay, one for yes, two for no. All right, Mother's Day sell now, fifty percent off on all products. I like that. I like that. Good, good picture right here. Let's keep moving. This boy trying to sell the same product as me. <laughs> Hey, man, you better be ready to compete. I've been scaling this thing up for a while. Okay? Specifications do not recommend having this on your store until it's at the very bottom. Here's some pretty good reviews. Okay? Here's some pretty good reviews. Let's see how well you really put in effort. Let's try, let's try this thing out. 
I would stop this after about two, or sorry, about three. I wouldn't really do buy two, three, or, after, or five or six. I would stop it right here. Okay, these are different colors, so you need these to be the same colors if you want to highlight them. You see how sticky added cards showing up at the bottom? I do recommend having it at the top. Okay, highlighting a problem, giving a solution, give for image. I uh, don't really like this as a feature and benefit. It's not really showing. I mean, yes, we, I already know it can be used on a carpet too. You can literally put this in a, in a description, but this is not something that you want to be highlighting as a feature and benefit. You want to be highlighting more how this thing is going to solve a problem for them. As you can see, your images are not showing up. If your images do not show up and I see something like this, I'm automatically going to think that you're a scam and I'm going to leave. And I'm just being as completely transparent as possible as I can with that. I'm going to drop these giveaway instructions one more time, uh, Michelle. Okay, like I said, I'm going to give out the giveaway winner in about five minutes. This is what you guys are going to get. This is how you guys can take advantage of it. Okay. Um, and reviews are not too bad. All right. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. What other stores you guys want me to drop right now? Collop Shop. We're going to do Collop Shop. Let's see what we're moving. Let's see what we're moving with. Collop Shop. Okay, this showing up right away. Please don't have pop up show up right away. I'm gonna leave. This thing showing up right away. Let me. This little subscribe button now showing up. You guys gotta limit these pop ups. You guys gotta limit these pop ups. Um, I don't recommend. I mean, the logo is not bad. I'm like, I'm not gonna trip about the logo, but you could have did better. Um, you definitely could have did better. Um, if you guys don't know where to get your logos or how to make your logos, I definitely uh, definitely recommend going to Canva.com. Coming over here and typing in logos, okay? And you guys can see all the logo templates that you guys can do. Uh, I would definitely, definitely, definitely um, take some take something from here. I'm not gonna lie, like the logo's not that big of a deal, but I'm not gonna. I, I don't really like that. Let's go into uh, let's go into this product. Okay, thirty-seven twenty-one. Don't really like that. You guys know why. If I click on purple and pink, it takes me to the real product. Hurry up, only 10 left. Don't really recommend it too much. This pop-up thing, again, need to get that off the screen. Uh, you have a blue add to cart button. Definitely don't recommend having a blue add to cart button. Uh, it's kind of throwing things off. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like actually on your... This big, long quantity break by discount should not take up this much of your store. Uh, I do like this. Okay, it is a little bit too many points. One point for each feature and benefit. So I would have had this. I would have had this, and then I would have had this picture, and then I would have had this and this, and then this picture. Okay, and then you can you could have put these specifications down just a little bit more. Um, but yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Let me see something real quick. One thing you need to realize is why are you highlighting different colors in your reviews than you're actually having that you can sell. You're telling me that you can sell a black version, a purple version, and a pink version, but when I scroll down, every majority of your reviews are this blue version. You don't even have a blue version. So if you don't have a blue version, why are you putting this as the main product that you're selling in your reviews? This is telling me that this must be the best product that I should have been buying. You don't even have this option for me so I'm not going to buy the pink one or the blue one or sorry, the pink one or the purple one when literally all your views are blue. OK, so you want to make sure the main variants that you're selling are also being highlighted in your review section. Does that make sense? One for yes, two for no. OK, you want to have a minimum of at least like 20 reviews. And by the way, yes, you guys can apply for my one on one coaching by uh, DMing me the word coaching. Or if you guys are more of on a budget but still want support, you guys can uh, come uh, grow as a community inside the university um, until you guys are uh, so you guys can still get the support that you guys deserve. Does that make sense, though? All right. Cool, cool. I'm gonna do one more store real quick, and then we're gonna go ahead and get into the giveaway winner. Like I said, if you guys smash that like button down below, you will be able to watch this video afterwards, and also be able to uh, have another giveaway winner this Friday. All right, let's go ahead and pull this store up. This is the next store, pureglow.com. First thing I'm gonna say out the gate is speed, 
okay? You want to have over a 50 sto uh, score speed um, on your store. You need your store to be faster. I don't know how long that took for me to load this store up, but it took like five to 10 seconds. Store speed is very, very important. So if I cannot get it, I will leave. Well, actually, I don't know if this is your actual store. So let me go to a different one. I think I, Pure Glow Store. I think I typed it in wrong. Pure Glow Store dot com okay here's the actual store um let's go ahead and check out the product description um like i said one thing i will say right away is i never ever ever have anything besides a white background so you see how this thing is like a greenish background kind of behind the product i would never recommend doing this uh, also at the bottom you have like this gradient color of orange yellow and pink um you have your logo that has like red and orange and green and pink and blue Go down to three colors max, black, white, one separate color. Um, I typically like having all my products around 50% off, not like 50% like off or 30% off, like an actual even number, not like 41%. Um, product description is all text. There's nothing in here that's going to make me be convinced if I am a visual type of person to buy this product. Um, and again, people's attention spans are like this. You have to think of that and you have to understand your own attention span. Are you going to go to someone's store and read every single piece of text or are you just going to see can it work for you or not? Okay, if you're going to read every single piece of text on a product before you buy it, drop the number one. If you're more of a visual person and going to need to see images and, and see how it actually works, drop the number two. All right. Yeah, product description needs a lot of work. Don't have any apps installed to your store. Your reviews are also another color, orange. Um, I definitely recommend you have your reviews being yellow. Um, I don't know why you did orange here. Uh, I would change that up. And I never want to see my reviews in a box. I don't want to see my products ever in a box. I only want to see my products being used. So, like, this is a really good review right here. This is a bad review, okay? This is a pretty bad review. This is a pretty bad review. This one's pretty decent, okay? I can kind of see the product. But I, lo I love seeing the products actually being used. It will go a long way for you. Okay. How did this go? Where do you guys recommend getting the gifts and stuff from? Okay. We go gift. E. That's where I recommend getting my gifts. Okay. That's where you guys can get all types of different gifts from. Okay. And if they're non you can also find non copyrighted. Like if I came over here and typed in non copyrighted back stretcher gift, right? If I'm selling a back stretcher. I can come to images on Google and I can literally find, you know, gifts that I can use right now that are not copyrighted. You know, like here's one right here. So I hope that was able to help. I'm going to go ahead and give in, get into the giveaway winner. Like I said, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and just do it wherever my finger stops. Let me see if we're at 200 likes real quick. Let's see if we're at 200 likes real quick. We're at 188. You guys have two minutes to get this thing to 200. Okay, if you guys are wanting to get all those things I mentioned earlier. But like I said, guys, what I'm going to do, by the way, my only Instagram is this Instagram right here. If it does not have a blue check, okay, it is not me. I have a lot of fake accounts out there, just so you guys know. If I type in AC Hampton and see all these fake accounts out there, again, if it does not have a blue check, it is not me. So make sure you guys are actually speaking to the right person. Okay. Boom. We're going to come down. We're going to come over here to notifications, and it's going to be wherever my finger stops, okay? So like I said, are you guys ready? I told you guys what to do. I told you guys to go to this post, comment the word live, follow me, and then come back in here and say the word done. I told you guys. Follow me. Come down to this video. Like it. Comment the word live, and then come back in here and say the word done. All right? I'm going to give you guys 30 seconds to, to put in your last ones. Put in your last ones. But in the meantime, okay, I want you guys to be focusing on these main, okay, these main seasons and trends while I'm doing this. Let me just give you guys something real quick uh, while we're waiting on you guys to get your last ones in. Your main seasons and trends I need you guys to be focusing on right now, okay? Mother's Day is going to be a big one I need you guys to put your effort into, okay, for everyone asking what seasons and trends to be focusing on. Mother's Day. Why is my screen not moving? Mother's Day started yesterday, okay? First week of yesterday. Next thing, okay, Father's Day is coming up. This is also what I need you guys to take advantage of. Boom, spike that thing up with Father's Day. Next thing I need you guys to be focused on is summer products. 
summer products you see it's spiking up right now these are three trends and seasons that you guys should be putting a lot of effort into all right i'm going to refresh my screen i'm going to go ahead and give out the giveaway winner real quick and like i said if you guys want to speak uh speak to me directly afterwards uh just uh, dm me the word coaching all right and if not okay you guys uh if you're on a budget or more and you want to check out some more information here's my university all right but let's go ahead and get into it it's going to be wherever my finger stops ready five four three two one boom add z let's see if he follows me first adam adam z or Z. congratulations on winning Z. hey reach out to me on my instagram we can hop on a one-on-one -on -one zoom call look over your ads look over your products and get on this call allow you to share your screen and get all of your questions answered even give you an inside look at what my one-on-one -on -one mentorship looks like everybody we are family here at supreme ecom so say congratulations to my boy Say congratulations. And like I said, if you guys want an opportunity of winning this Friday, I'll give out another giveaway. The only thing that you guys have to do is once this video is posted, since we are at 200 likes now, once this video is posted, you guys will be able to come back to the video, okay? Comment the word live with your biggest takeaway, okay? Live with your biggest takeaway, just like this. Hey, my biggest takeaway is this. Like I said, if you guys want to win another one after this, Okay, come to the comment section, comment the word live with your biggest takeaway. That's what we're doing every week, all right? So congratulations. I'm going to go ahead and drop another banger on my YouTube channel this Friday. I'm going to go ahead and reach out to every single one of you guys right now who DM me the word coaching or has filled out of an application on our website, okay? And I hope to help you guys out and help you guys uh, take advantage of this, okay? Look forward to hearing from you guys. This is AC with Supreme Ecom.